Well today we're looking at, uh, I want to say Lego, but it's Lego knockoff. Uh, and this one is a, uh, a brick figure of Godzilla from Godzilla vs Kong. Uh, I got this from AliExpress, uh, which is like a, a knockoff wish, if such a thing could exist. Uh, it looks like it's actually licensed. Uh, you've got Toho Legendary Monsterverse. It's got lots and lots of... Uh, Sort of licensing on it. I don't know whether it is. It's um, Panlos Brick Company. Um, and it's Godzilla, Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong. Uh, and it was like about 12 quid. Um, so you get a really nice instruction booklet. I'll have to try and translate this, see what it says. Using his fighting pose. And then you get the instructions. They're not quite as detailed as Lego, but you can see they really are trying to be Lego. Um, the book is very thick. It looks like it's going to be a really, really complicated model, to be honest. Um, I'll show you the parts you get later on, or after we've looked at the book. Um, I think it's going to be fairly mobile, or movable. Um, I think it's going to take a while to build. Uh, I won't show the building. I might show a little bit because it's not Lego, so God knows how it's going to go together. Um, the instruction book is pretty good, to be honest. We've seen a lot worse. Let's see the final part. They do do uh, quite a few of these different ones. There's, you can get a big Kong, you can get little dioramas. So I think they are licensed. So I think it's going to be uh, a good one to make. But it came just in a jiffy bag. <laughs> and, uh, those are all parts, so yeah, we get a lot of. Luckily, they're numbered. Um, I don't know how many. Should we see how many bags? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, possibly 20 bags. So hopefully next time you see this it should be a Godzilla. Again, I don't know how big it's going to be. Um, but uh, I think it will be quite impressive. Um, the Lego knockoff, it looks pretty good. It's not like those mini bricks. It's definitely, like, they've removed the logos in it. Um, but yeah, let's see what he turns out like. Okay, so I've finished Godzilla. Um, it's quite a complicated build, I'd say very complicated. Um, took a few nights to get done. Uh, brilliant instructions, it really made sense, as good as Lego. Uh, the fit of the parts was as good as Lego. So normally when you get these knockoff ones, they sort of fall apart as you're doing and makes it very hard. These clip in straight away. Um, so it's got to be a licensed one, I think. I don't know how it couldn't be. Oh, it's a knockoff of a licensed one. But yeah, really impressed with it. Um, so you get Godzilla and he's all sort of semi-hinged. He hasn't got a huge amount of movement, but you can move all his parts, put him in various poses. The legs move a little bit, as you can see. Oh, that's the only thing I would say is slight problem is he's got shoulder pads and they're held on with one one bit and they go I think like that. I might have to put a pop of glue on that because they fell off a couple of times but other than that it's pretty solid. I love the transparent blue parts down his spine and then his tail is fairly flexible or ball jointed. Uh, so yeah this was I think this was about 15 quid something like that um, from AliExpress um, I thought it was Wish, but it was actually AliExpress. I've got a few, a few different places I use, um, and they do a whole range. They do ones for like the Cityscape with a little, smaller Godzilla. They do a King Kong. Um, so I might, might send off some others. If you want to see more, let me know, and I'll, uh, I'll send off them. Oh, he's got a movable mouth as well. What do you think it's so far? Very good. Uh, he's got little teeth. So yeah, um, no real specialist parts. All standard brick sizes. Um, great instructions, super quick delivery, cheap, what's not to love? Um, so yeah, so 
Lego Godzilla. He's great. But uh, thanks for watching. Sorry this was such a short one. Um, I did video some of the parts of making it up, but then realised, uh, you know when you're pressing record, but you're actually pressing stop, and then you're recording all the bits between. Yeah, I did that. So apologies for that, so it's quite a short video. Um, but uh, well worth getting. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you can. Uh, we have a Patreon page now, so if you want to help us out, the link will be in the description. And I'll see you again next time. So from me and Godzilla, thanks then. Oh, and Maggie got bored watching me, so I did go have a kip. Bless her. See you next time. Thanks then. Bye.